Hello and welcome to the history of the Ghostbusters. Omega Ordain coming at you with today's episode, Ray Stance, PhD. And here we go. Dr. Raymond Ray Stance was one of the original Ghostbusters and was one of the most devoted to the pursuit of studying the paranormal. He appears in all major forms of the Ghostbuster franchise. However, like Peter and Winston, was a guest star on Extreme Ghostbusters. Ray's devotion to the company was obvious when he mortgaged the house his parents had left to him to provide the capital to begin Ghostbusters Inc. Ray was also a handyman and largely responsible for the repair and modifications of the Ecto-1. He wasn't particularly religious, but did seem to believe in a spiritual realm of sorts. In the video game, it is shown that he believes in a concept of a soul. He also states that he has played a game entitled Ghost and Gargoyles while in the seminary, indicating that he may have at one time considered becoming a clergyman. Ray is regarded by Peter as the heart of the Ghostbusters. Indeed, Ray displays a level of excitement when it comes to ghostbusting and the paranormal science in general, unmatched by any of his colleagues. Ray is generally the most positive of the group. However, bits of his cynicism will surface on occasion. Before they were kicked out of the university, Ray was devoting a lot of his work day to interviewing people who had some sort of encounter with the paranormal. After the engagement with the library ghost, Ray was more motivated to continue on that type of work. When the future Ghostbusters were let go by Dean Yeager, he was initially crushed, primarily concerned with his academic integrity, financial stability, etc. Ray had briefly worked in the private sector beforehand and knew it wasn't conductive to his line of work, as they expected notable results. After talking with Peter Vakeman and Egon Spangler, they decided to try hunting ghosts full time. In addition, he rummaged through used car lots to find a suitable vehicle and repair it to make the Ecto-1. Dr. Stance also has the distinction of being the first Ghostbuster to meet Slimer. He then went on proton blasting after his call for assistance was unheard by Bakeman. Ray accidentally chose the form of Gozer's appearance because of his childhood time at Camp Wakanda. Despite his initial attempts at negotiation, he wound up fighting Gozer with his proton pack. After reversing the particle flow to force Gozer back into his realm, Ray was concerned about the other guy's welfare after the explosion, and then celebrated with them all afterwards. Although this was short-lived by the ungrateful yuppie larva, representing the city, county, and state of New York. In the second film, he and Winston were entertainers for parties. When they were not doing that, he was running his bookstore, Ray's Occult Books. However, when Dana Barrett comes to Egon and later Ray, it becomes clear that something supernatural was happening underneath New York. Ray and Egon experimented with psychomagnetheric slime. They find and eventually discover a way to not only positively charge the slime, but utilize it to animate the Statue of Liberty in their final assault on Vigo the Carpathian. Ray also becomes the host of Vigo himself, but a liberal dowsing of the positive energy mood slime quickly cures him of that. Thank you for watching the history of the Ghostbusters. Special thanks to the Ghostbuster Wiki and all contributors for all information you heard today. Very special thanks to my Patreons and to Royalty Free Tube for this fantastic background. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell, join the channel, join us on Patreon. Do whatever you can do to help the channel grow. We appreciate it and thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye.